Hey traders, John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 17th of December to the 21st of December 2018. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week. Now, just something to note, we are going into Christmas the week after next and so this will be the last weekly forex forecast video of the year and we'll be back on the 5th of January for our first weekly forex forecast video of 2019 looking forward to the new trading year. So with that said let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always starting with the US dollar index now we start the week above key area of broken resistance turning support at the 97.01. If we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a retest of the 97.01, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside in the target set, the 98.16. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside in target two, at the 98.69. Now, as we start the week above the key area of broken resistance at the 97.01, we are looking for further advances this week in the US dollar index, and we do go into this week with a bullish bias on the US dollar index. So next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now, crude oil pretty much did not do a lot last week. It just kind of chopped around. It's taken a bit of a breather after this sustained decline to the downside. We are still looking for further declines in oil. And very simply put, as we start the week below the key area of broken support, looking to turn resistance at the 54.74. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance to the 54.74, this is going to be the preferable place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set at the 49.13. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target two at the 47.73. So the first pair we're going to look at is euro dollar. Now we start the week below key area of broken support, looking to turn resistance at the 1.13295. If we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance to the 1.13295, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.1216. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two at the 1.1139. The next pair we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now we start the week below key area of broken support from the past, turning resistance at the 1.26735. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a retest of broken support, turning resistance to the 1.26735, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.2405. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target two at the 1.2308. So the next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 112.886. If we can get a pullback and if we can get a pullback and preferably a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 112.886, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set at the 114.23. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in target two at the 114.73. So the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now we start the week below a key area of broken support from the past, looking to turn resistance at the 0.72022. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance at the 0.72022, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set, the 0.7128. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the second target to the downside and the second key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.7085. 
So the next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now we start the week below a key area of broken support from the past, looking to turn resistance at the 0.68507. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at 0.68507, this is going to be the preferable place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set at the 0.6690. So next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Swiss franc. Now we start this week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 0.99131. If we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a retest of broken resistance turning support at 0.99131, this is going to be the area that will be preferable to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside in the target set, the 1.0025. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside in target two, of the 1.0056. So next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1.32909. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.32909, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside in the target set at the 1.3504. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside in target two at the 1.3596. And last but not least, we have gold. Now, although we have a stronger dollar going into next week, we do still see gold advancing to the upside as we see money coming out of the stock market after the recent sell off going into safe haven assets like gold. So we are going to be looking for further advances in gold, despite the fact we do have a slightly stronger dollar. And as we start the week above the key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1229.11. If we can get a pullback and if we can get a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1229.11, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1261.50. So that is it from me for this week, guys, and also for this year. I want to thank everybody who has liked and shared these videos on a regular basis throughout the year, everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far, and I want to thank all of you who comment, especially on a regular basis, and share these videos. I do appreciate it, and thank you for a fantastic 2018. A special shout-out to some of you who comment regularly, including Ernesto, Kawasaki, Jason Raj, Arafal Mayer, Gideon, Oleg Body, Anthony, BNK Top M, and more. I know there's many more of you. I really do appreciate the comments, guys. It's great to hear from you every week, and I do appreciate it. I want to wish for those of you celebrating and watching these videos, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and an enjoyable break going into 2019. And I look forward to seeing you all again for a new trading year and another fantastic year next year. So the only thing left for me to say, guys, is take care and don't forget to trade safely.